so just quick second channel video because uh, it's not really worth making a full video about so here's some calcium gluconate gel i just prepared for the hf i did have it on hand uh, when i made the hf the first time but um it was just it was just in a beaker so it's not really like a proper thing but yeah here you go so it's just you want so you can buy this stuff of course you can buy the proper stuff it's called calganate it's 55 dollars a tube on ebay I'm not paying $55 for a tube of 2.5% calcium gluconate suspension. You want to know what I can buy even cheaper? A whole freaking bag of calcium gluconate powder from eBay. 500 grams of it, a pound of calcium powder. That's cheap. It was like, what, $20? So I can buy a kilogram of calcium for the price of one tube of that stuff. And you... I looked at the M I did look at the MSDS for Calgany. It's a proprietary mixture because nothing in here is harmful. I looked at some other MSDSs for the same exact thing, calcium HF burn gel. They're all just carboxymethylcellulose, um 2.5% calcium gluconate, water, and some kind of preservative like sodium benzoate or methylparaben. You wanna know what this is? I don't even need to use carboxymethylcellulose because calcium gluconate has a low solubility in water. So what I did is I just added approximately a 75 to 25 mixture by volume of calcium gluconate powder and water, stirred it, there you go. There's a cream or a gel or a paste. It'll work. Um, I also threw in a little sodium benzoate in there. I didn't bother measuring it because it doesn't really matter. As a preservative to stop it from growing bacteria or mold because I know it can grow, mold can just straight up grow in copper acetate. So yeah mold will grow on anything it can so might as well just prevent that shake it up get the sodium benzoate dispersed in there you go calcium gluconate gel for hf really really simple recipe i of course i can't say that it works or not but i mean come on it's the, it's exactly the same stuff as the hf burn gel if not better because it's literally 75 percent calcium in there so there's more calcium I mean, you don't really need more calcium in it, but yeah, there's more calcium. Now, uh, of course, a note about this. Um, if you do make this and you get hurt from playing with HF, that's not my fault, okay? Uh, second thing is that this is not the this is not the panacea to curing HF. Um, you have to run your hand under water and then apply this, and then you have to try to wash as much of the HF off as possible. You can't just simply leave it on there. So, yeah, this is really to buy you time, not to you know, like, solve your problem. If you're gonna get exposed to HF, go to a hospital after applying this stuff. Yeah. But there you go. This is just an old zinc supplement bottle I found in a dumpster. I poured all the pills out. So, um, yeah. There you go. Calcium burn, calcium HF gel. I'm gonna have that somewhere when I'm making more HF. Here's some calcium fluoride. I'm, wa I'm acid washing the rest of it so we can do a large HF run when I get the sodium fluoride and we can get the fluorine cell running for once. But yeah, um, that's it.